the 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 peatland formed here about 8,500 years ago. It's in an old uh, uh, channel uh, that emptied out of the uh, Lake Champlain that was north of here. Now what we're trying to do, the main core of this experiment is trying to determine peatlands we know are critical in the global carbon cycle. They store about one-third of the world's terrestrial carbon. That's carbon that is in plants and in dead plant material. It stores about one-third of those. And the really big question is whether peatlands will become one of the major biospheric feedbacks in the future with climate warming and potentially becoming drier. Is the carbon that's stored in these systems secure or is it sensitive to climate change? And we take these models now and use them in the rest of Canada. So we have a project that we've applied for money to do to work in, for example, the Hudson's Bay lowlands to test the models that we've developed here in a number of sites up there to see how well we can do that because Canada, it, it is of national interest for Canada, particularly with the issues over Kyoto Protocol and carbon storage and these things that we're able to monitor our natural carbon and know what's happening with it.